What is up, everyone, and welcome to my first Q&A of 2018. We did it, y'all. We made it to a new year, and I'm starting things off with a bit of a bang. I say a bit of a bang because it's Q&A, and I don't have a lot of questions. <laughs> but we will do this, and in and, and future reference, for anyone that's watching this video and you subscribe to my channel and you want to ask me a question, feel free to do so in the comments below, and hopefully fingers crossed here that at least once a month I would do a QA. and a maybe at the beginning of the month maybe at the end of the month hell maybe it might be once every two months point is I'm gonna try to be more regular with trying to do this because um let's just say one question had to wait quite some time to be answered but with that being said let's not dolly anymore and let's just do this and I got a few questions from uh, a good friend of mine, good a good YouTuber friend of mine, uh, Hobby Ken. Maybe you might have heard of him, maybe you haven't. I'll leave his link to his channel in, in the comments, in the comments below, in the description below, because I'm so professional, obviously. Anyway, his first question is, what is your name? What do you mean, what, what is my name? You know what my name is, it's Rio. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You wanna know what my real name is? Well, my real name is... Yeah, it's... It's that, that's my real name because... Oh, I just love being called by that so much. So, there you go. My real name is... And, uh... Yeah! Hope you're happy with yourself. I hope I was able to fulfill your destiny with knowing what my name is. Moving right along, his next question is, what is your quest? I'm not gonna lie, when I started reading his questions, I was like, what do you mean, what is my quest? And like, what was my quest in life? Or was my quest about the my entire day? Or was my quest on YouTube? That's just, I can go anywhere with that question. What is my quest? Well, my quest for YouTube is just to have fun to what I'm doing. You know, doing Let's Plays or Slash Blind Runs or doing first impressions or doing spotlights, playing fucking demos. You know, getting the word out on certain games that I'm interested in and maybe other people might be interested in. Maybe playing games that I have no idea what I'm getting myself into and just going along for the ride and having an adventure. Yeah, that's my quest. Otherwise, it's it's to go on a long, adventurous adventure, which made no sense at all. We're going to roll with it. To find the best vanilla pudding that's ever been made on this damn planet. That is my quest. To find the best version of the best vanilla pudding. That is my quest. That is my end goal quest. Outside of that, just having... You know, a decent life, maybe get married, have a kid or two, drive them insane as I drive everybody else insane, and hopefully they will drive me insane so we can all be crazy together. There. How's that for an answer? He asked me a few more questions, by the way. His next question is, what is your favorite color? I think some people would think it's red considering that my room is red. Honestly, not that far off. It used to be red. And then it kind of changed to a few colors and whatnot. And and, and for a while, I, I, I was like, gray is my favorite color, but gray is a shade. And I don't want to start any wars because, you know, it's going to be someone out there be like, gray is a color. It's a shade. It's a fact of life. Let's move on. But <laughs> aside from that, my favorite color uh is a dark shade of teal um for a while it was green i was like I'm, I'm on a green kick and whatnot and i mean i was always partial to the colors of like purple blue pink yellow for a little bit and then i saw like this really dark shade of teal and it just clicked and you know what's really bad i can't really find a lot of clothing in the color teal like, I have a shirt in teal, 
And right now, it's, it's like way too small for me to wear. Like, I feel like I'm just gonna rip right through it. But, uh, yeah. Dark teal. Not, not like too dark, but like in the, in like the middle of medium teal and dark teal. Like in the middle between those two. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's my favorite color. Um, this next question is, uh, what is the air speed velocity of an unlad swallow? I'm not sure if I'm saying unlads correctly. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Who asks a question like that? And I mean, I guess the first thought that comes to my mind is, do you mean African or European? I don't know. Why would I even be a thought in my, like I would never even think of what the velocity of any swallow would be. You know, we're gonna just skip that question because no, good sir, no. And his last question is, what is your favorite Mighty Python quote? If you haven't tell, he, all his questions come from Mighty Python. And to be perfectly honest, I don't remember that movie that well. Like I've, the last time I watched that movie, I've only seen it once. I only seen bits and pieces of it. The little that I do remember were the questions that he asked me. And uh, that wasn't my favorite. I think my favorite is, I think they were fighting the Black Knight and they cut off his appendage. I'm not sure if it was his arm or his leg. It was like, Oh, that's just a flesh wound. I guess that would probably be going to, I mean, I, 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 I feel like I need to sit down and rewatch that whole movie again. It was either that or something about like the white bunny or maybe it's the white rabbit. I don't know. I remember something with white and red eyes. Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. I don't know. But hopefully, Papa Quinn, Papa Quinn. <laughs> hopefully Papa Quinn. <laughs> I don't know where Quinn come from, but whatever. Um, you you found my my answers to be suitable. Suitable. God damn, I cannot speak. <sighs> suitable for your your delight. Your your play. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just move on to some actual more questions. The next one's coming from one of my good friends, Mike, and he his question is, you know my question. Ha 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 ha. That's not even a question. That's not even, and I feel like I know what his question is, but he's asked me so many weird questions that I don't know what he's talking about here. I feel like most of my questions are a gag at this point. And you know, hey, hopefully this is gonna be entertaining for somebody because Dude, ask me a question. Don't, don't be, you know what my question is. Do I? Am I a mind reader? Can I read your mind? Can I read anybody's mind? Because if I could, oh my goodness. The, the havoc and mayhem, I would just. <sighs> anyway, so. I feel like the question that he's trying to ask me. I'm not going to answer to he actually asked me the question. Because the last q and I did, he did the same thing. Ask the damn question. Stop being a pussy about it. Jesus. Moving on <laughs> to some real questions. Oh, Lord, it's, uh, I have I have two questions. Um, one is from. Uh, I, you know what? Honestly, if I mispronounce your name, my apologies. I'm dumb, and I'm apologizing now if I mispronounce anybody's names because reasons um i i believe i pronounced his name mix six I believe that how you six obviously i got but I'm, I'm not sure about the mix part like i'm thinking of mix but he has the m-i-c-k and i'm thinking of mike but then he has a k so i'm like mech whatever look i apologize i don't you can tell me in the comments below how badly i butchered your name okay and he asked this question nine months ago Nine months ago. Gee, I am so sorry it took me this long to get around. <laughs> you almost waited a year to hear this question. But um, his question is, what is the source of your name, Rio? 
Spanish or uh, he's a Spanish Portuguese or is it somewhere else? Well, I do know that Rio is a Spanish name and I also know that Rio also means river and whatnot. But the source of this um, of my name, there's a story attached to this. The source comes from my very first MP3 player. It's a Rio MP3 player and the reason I got this, um, well, back when I got this, my mom got me this as a Christmas present many, many years ago. And uh, it's like when MP3 started being like the big thing that everybody wanted. There was a whole bunch of different ones. I think it was like a Walkman one and a few other ones. But my mom got me the Rio. It holds like, I don't know, 32 songs on it. Um, I know pitiful for today's standards. But I love this little thing. This little thing with, with, with me everywhere. I think it takes batteries. Hold on, let's find out. I think it does. If I pop this open, yeah, it takes, takes uh, what size batteries are these? I don't, I, I don't even know. Very small, I think AAA batteries. Yeah, this is like a AAA size. Um, took AAAs and whatnot. And like I said, this thing came with me everywhere. Went to, when I went to work, Thing was with me when I did my my first semester of college. Yeah, I actually went to college, people. <laughs> um, it went with me. Uh, but the way I got the name Rio was back at back in the day when we had arcades, right? My mall had an arcade, and all, like all my arcade buddies were there, and we all played either um what was it in the groove i think it was one of them or we were playing ddr and this might sound a little weird but instead of listening to the music that was coming from the game i would have this on instead so i was listening to music on my mp3 player as i was playing these games these rhythm based games where i need to actually listen to the songs and i was still getting like double a's <laughs> and everyone was like what are you what are you listening on i'm like i'm listening on to the rio and at the time people were calling me rapid and then that changed when i was talking about the rio and then everyone just started calling me rio and i mean throughout the years i i have thought of like maybe rio's not the name for me maybe it should, it should be something else but honestly it just fits like everybody everyone calls me real i mean there's there's a few uh, exceptions to that there there are some people who refuse to call me that and call me by my real name which i hate with a passion but um there's like i said there's, there's very few people that call me by my real name there's some people that i wish would call me real and then there's other people who call me by my real name that i just let i let it go because there's some reasons why I let those people call me by my real name and not everyone. It's weird, but honestly, I, I would prefer that everyone call me. Hell, even people at my job call me real. My supervisor slash the vice president of the, the company that I work for calls me real. Like, no one calls me by my real name. Um, so, yeah. This little thing is the reason why I got the name Rio. As for a last name, I feel like each year my last name just keeps changing. Like, I feel like I want to make it Rio something. Right now, I'm thinking of like Rio Arcadius, but <laughs> I don't know. Look, at, for the most part, everyone just calls me Rio. And it's, it's good, because you know what? I can at least put my name down on any RPG game that has like, a limitation on how many characters you can have in there. So I'm like, look, I'm good to go. What, what up? <laughs> what up? Um, so yeah, and the last question, I told you, this is going to be hella short. Um, it's from Shard of Omega. Again, I, I feel like I'm saying that one correctly. It has it all together, but I feel like each word is supposed to be in the... Cause, look, cool guy and whatnot. And uh, his question, he asked like a, about a week ago, a week or so ago, um, is what do you think of the games on the Nintendo Switch? um that you played between when you got the console itself to now and what do you think of the upcoming games in the um in 2018 um well 
I have my Switch here. And I remember when I first got this and I was like saying how I wanted to do a review of the Switch. I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad I didn't do that because there was a lot of things going on at the time when the Switch came. Like people were having like little issues with game cartridges not working to the left Joy-Con desyncing and this the overall like I still feel like to this day like not all like we just recently got the functionality to record a little bit of gameplay with the capture before we can only do pictures with this and I feel like there's other features with this uh, system that for a reason I don't feel like it's gone to its potential to shit like as for gameplay and what fantastic love it um but as for the games that I have on my console let me actually turn my console on um uh, what do I think of the games on Nintendo Switch? I mean majority of the games are fantastic however I don't have all the games on my switch in fact as I turn this thing on, the games that I have on my Switch are Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I got Mighty Gunvolt Burst, I have Astro Striker Gunvolt Striker Pack, I have Sonic Mania, I have Fast RMX, I got Project Octopath Traveler, the demo version, I have Blaster Master Zero, I have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I have Pio Pio Tetris, and I have Super Bomberman R. Those are all the games that I have on my Switch. And I know there's other, there's like other games that we have on the Switch. But um, as of right now, like that's all I have. And for each game, I mean like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just Mario Kart 8 with a better battle system that I don't care about. I feel like with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I would really, I would appreciate it if they added like four new DLC courses. That would have made me, like, granted, I'm happy that the battle system in this game got a big overhaul and a vastly bigger, like, it's better than what the, the, the default on the Wii U was. So I'm happy about that, but for me personally, I would have been more happier if we got more courses to race on. Like. It's a racing game for crying out loud. I mean, obviously you got weapons that can beat the crap out of people. But, I mean, at the same time, I'm like, ugh. I, I would wish they added a little bit more. Maybe even added in some more characters. I still want to see Kirby in... Do I, I basically want a Mario Kart that's like Smash Brothers, that has like a whole bunch of franchises and anyone's kicking anybody's ass. That would make me happy. That may or may not happen. I don't know. We, like, we got, like, a few characters. Like, we got, what? Um, characters from Splatoon. We got Zelda. We got some Animal Crossing people. I think that's it. I don't remember. But, yeah. Mario Kart is Mario Kart. I will always love Mario Kart. And whenever they make Mario Kart 9, uh, I'm going to jump on that game, too. Because I've played this about every Mario Kart except for Double Dash because I hate that game. Yes, you heard it here first. I do not like that game whatsoever. They don't ever need to bring that concept back. Don't ever bring that concept back, Nintendo. Uh, next game, Money Gun, Gun Vote Burst. This game is interesting because I played very little of it. It plays like Mega Man, but not like Mega Man. I played up to the first stage, and then they started having all these DLC characters coming out. And I said, look, if I was going to do a playthrough of this game, I want to play as Copen. Well, not too, not too long ago, they announced more DLC characters for the game, and guess who? Ooh, ooh, guess, guess who's in it now? Copen. So I guess at some given point, you will see me play through this game. It won't be blind, but. I'm gonna play through it as Copen, because if any character I wanna play as is most likely gonna be him. Um Speaking of Mighty Gunvolt Burst, we have Mighty Gun well not Mighty Gunvolt, but Gunvolt 1 and 2, essentially. Uh, I played both these games on the 3DS, enjoyed them. I like two more than I like one because obviously I'm I'm team I'm team Copen! Copen is this I look, 
me and Copen, that's my dude. If they made a game just for Copen, I would buy that. I would play that on my channel because Copen is fucking awesome. And I love his gameplay over GV. I'm sorry, people who love GV, but Copen, in my opinion, is just the better character. Jesus. Anyway, moving on. Sonic Mania. I mean, I literally have a, a blind run of that game. I've beaten this game several times. And at the time of this recording, not only do I have it on the Switch and the PS4, I also got it for the Xbox One because I love the shit out of that game and I want to see them make a sequel or, or, or at least another game because they, they blew it out of the water with this one. I, I want to see what, what they could do when Sega's like, okay, you guys did good. You guys could do another game and I want to see that happen and I want it to be even more amazing. So, yes, I bought it again. Hey, <laughs> I, I have no shame. I bought multiple copies of Shovel Knight and, and Jet Set Radio, even though, again, I could buy it on the Xbox One, but it won't let me because apparently I never got it on the Xbox 360 and I can't even find the cord to hook everything up. So it makes me really angry that it's there and not. So, hey, Xbox One, Microsoft, like, do me a solid and put that on the Xbox. In fact, you know what? Sega, just re-release it on the Switch, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One, because I would buy the game three times over. I, I, I don't care. That's my favorite game of all time. I will play the shit out of that game. Um, Fast RMX. Um, I enjoyed what I played. It's a racing game, essentially. Um, I love racing games. I had fun with it. Uh, again, another game that I did a let's play, a blind run even, of. And uh, yeah, that game was fucking fun to me. Uh, Project Octopath Traveler. You know, if there's one game in 2018 I'm, I'm really excited for, it is this game. And I've been debating if I want to do like a demo playthrough of this game. I'm. I kind of want to, and at the same time, I kind of don't want to. I, I'm leaning more on the side like I want to do a playthrough of this game. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe at the beginning of 2018, aside from this video, maybe you might actually see that. Uh, but that's to be determined. Uh, Blaster Master Zero, again, you see me do a blind run. In fact, a lot of these games you see me do blind runs of. I enjoyed this game. Um, I really don't have that much to say about it. I mean, it, it, they took it, an NES game, redid it. I kind of hope that they can take more of the games that Sunsoft did and do like, do what they did here. Because I, for me personally, I would love it if they could somehow talk to DC to get the rights for Batman and let them redo Batman. Oh my God, I would love that so much. I think out of all the Sunsoft games, that one is probably my favorite. And I would love to play that. I want to play the original one as well. And I do own it. It's just, I want the quality to look good. I'm, I'm weird. Like I, I was able to hook up my NES and my Super Nintendo up to my Egalo HD. And the quality is like, it looks like crap. So I don't know if I should invest in another capture device or maybe something else I can use. I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I would sit down and I will play the shit out of that game. I've never beaten Batman, by the way. I've gotten to the end. I've gotten the Joker. He just kicks my ass because that, that, that part of the game is hard, in my opinion. Joker's is hard. One day I'll beat him, and I would love to record that and be like, yeah, fuck you, Joker, I beat you. But, you know, little steps, little little steps. But, yeah. Um, Legend, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, my goodness, where do I even start with this game? This game, obviously, Blind Run. Um, I left it off at, at, at I believe, me just wandering all around where I'm supposed to go to one area that the game wants me to go to. And, I mean, I have recorded a little bit more of the game. So, I mean, there's, there's more that I've done that you guys have not seen. But at the same time, this is such a big game. And, you know, I talked to some of my friends who also play Legend of Zelda. And they, like, some of them are kind of like, 
split. Some people feel like, some of my friends feel like that should not be my first Zelda game. Like I need to play what they would consider to be a traditional Zelda game. And I'm like, I mean, this seems to harken back to the very first Zelda game. And on the NES, we can kind of just go anywhere. So I don't know how much of that um, is standard. <laughs> But I mean, I guess because there's no real dungeons, but I, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm mixed with it. I do want to continue the blind run with it. I did, I do enjoy what I've played of the game. Me and Wolflink are just, poor Wolflink. I feel like Wolflink just, just jumps off so many cliffs and stuff. And I'm just like, what is wrong with you? What, Wolflink, what is wrong with you? <laughs> um. But no, I, I, I enjoyed it, and even though, like, this game, oh man, like, I really wanted Persona 5 to win Game of the Year, but I, I, I deep down, I knew Zelda was going to win, so I was like, look, I would have been hella surprised if Mario won that shit, because then I, 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 either way, I felt like either Mario was going to win it, or Legend of Zelda, so either one, I would have been fine with, but, um, the game is amazing, you know, uh, yeah, and I haven't run any of the Scorchulas, so we're, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. And hopefully, I can bring that series back so we can continue on. I just I just need to find a way to streamline that game because it's so big. I And I can just wander off and do whatever. And I don't know if I just change this, like, the misadventures of me in this stupid place trying to beat the game. Or I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with this game. As of right now, but hopefully 2018, we will bring back The Legend of Zelda to the channel and figure out something. Figure out a way to streamline it because I, I really don't want it to be one of those let's plays that has like over 100 parts in it. Maybe I might make the, the videos like an hour long. I don't know. I'm so brainstorming on how I'm, I'm even going to attempt to jump back into this game and, well, not even so much jump back, but how to make videos on it, if that makes sense. Besides the fact that I do it from Nintendo, send me third party copyrights to, like literally one video has seven of them on there. And I'm like, oh God. Anyways, moving on. Um, Pio Pio Textures is probably one of the games that I probably play the most of, and yet have not done any content on my channel with this game. Um, I love Tetris, Pio Pio. I, I've played it in the past, especially with um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Or in, for those that don't know, that's that's the reference you get in um, Chemical Plant Zone when you're fighting Robotnik. That's that's where that comes from. Just, I mean, if you did not know about that, there you go. Um, it's a puzzle game. I love puzzle games. I am enjoying it. I kind of wish there was more puzzle games for me to play, but I take what I can get. Uh, really not a lot to say about it. Uh, the story is actually fairly interesting. At least I feel like it is. Um, haven't beaten it, but then again, I kind of just go into solo rounds and just play Tetris. I'm weird like that. And the last game I have is Super Bomberman R. It's my first Bomberman game I ever played. Um, it's okay. I mean, I wasn't really expecting a lot. But, I mean, it's like one of the first games I got for the Switch because that and Zelda, because there wasn't, at the time, there wasn't a lot of games that came out for it. Um, but I enjoy what I play of it. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> it's alright. It's not the best thing I ever played and whatnot, but eh. It, 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 it is what it is. Um, going back over your question. I mean, that's all the games that I played. Games I'm looking forward to in 2018. Oh my goodness. Let's. Where do I begin with that nonsense? With the Switch in, in general. Um, Honestly, the first game that I'm looking forward to the most. And I mean, the app. This probably will be my game of the year. Is the new No More Heroes game. I mean, if Just Set Radio and that whole franchise is my favorite. No More Heroes is my second favorite, and just to hear that we're getting a, a new game and with a different take on it, where they got together with indie developers to make this game, and it's, I don't even know, the, like, it seems like they're getting stuck in the concept of, the concept of it is like both tra um, Travis Touchdown and Bad Girl's uh, dad, I think his name is 
bat 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 it's bat something um are got they got sucked into a video game console and they have to fight their way out to make it uh, like the concept is already crazy which i expect and the fact that that is like we like I, I i already feel like we're gonna see hotline miami in this game so i'm like this is gonna be fucking nuts I'm looking forward to this game. This is probably, and it comes out, I believe, Q1 of 2018, so soon. Uh, yeah. I'm hella looking forward to that game. Hella looking forward to that game. Like, that game, I'm probably gonna play the shit out. Like, if I had to be honest, with my Switch, I really don't play a lot on my Switch. In fact, I would say that the console that I played on the most this year was probably the PlayStation 4. I probably play a lot more PS4 than I did on the Switch. Next year, this year coming up, whatever, 2018, I feel like the Switch is probably going to be the, the main thing. Because aside from that, playing Bayonetta 1 and 2 again, I'm looking forward to doing that. And hopefully hearing more about Bayonetta 3, that was going to make me really happy. Obviously, I'm looking forward to playing the new Kirby game. Yes, um... Uh, hopefully hearing a little bit more about Metroid Prime 4, even though I haven't played Metroid Prime 1, 2, 3, but I've seen Let's Plays of all three of those games, so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into, though I feel like I should probably play those three games as well. So, um, there's that. Uh, what other games are coming out for the Switch? I, I mean, I know there's some more indie games. I think, what, Celeste is one? I think that's what it's called. It's a weird platforming one that's from the people who made, um, uh, was it Towerfall? Not Towerfall. I don't know. That weird game with arrows and shit. Look, it, it looks like a really good platformer, and I'm really excited to play that game. Um, and that's gonna be coming out at the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm trying to think, what other Switch games? Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, obviously Project Octopath, where I already talked, that comes out this, uh, this year as well, which I'm really looking forward to, which is the same people who made Bravery Default, which honestly, I, I kind of want them to bring Bravery Default 1 and 2 to the Switch, because they're not going to probably do a Let's Play with those games. <laughs> um, I would love that, and if they made a third one, hell yeah, bring that to this, there's so many games that I wish, like, honestly, like, the, the, the Persona Q2 game, which is its label, but not its final name, I kind of wish that just came to the Switch instead, um, I think those are, like, I think those are the games that I'm probably most looking forward to for the Switch, but then again, there might be other games coming up that I'm not even that aware of as of now. So, I don't know. Those are the games that I'm looking forward to uh, for the Switch. Um, but aside from that, I think that's I think that's it. I think that is it. So, before I end this video off, there is one, one little thing that I do want to talk. Obviously, I'm feeling a lot better now. A lot better because I did get kind of sick again. As we saw in, in previous videos of me coughing and hacking away. Um, I am feeling better. Unfortunately... I guess how you see it is the fact that um, the beginning of 2018 there's gonna be a few changes um, I'm changing things around again with videos where videos will probably be just a Monday through Friday thing so that way Saturday and Sunday I can actually sit down and record because honestly I've been exhausted and it's not because of like well it's it's partly have to do with my job and then mainly has to do at home because I've been having to um, do a lot more stuff and making sure this house is still standing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go into too many details, but let's just say I've, I've had to maintain the peace. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it to you that way, and it's been a lot more draining than usual, so I've been a lot tired, which means I haven't really gotten a chance to really sit down to record and it's kind of sapped a lot of my, um, my well, emotion-wise, but uh, my motivation to record. It, I mean, it has nothing to do with YouTube or anything like that, but it's just... <sighs> real life has been draining, to say the least. Like, I, I, I want to have the time to do it, but at the same time, 
there's other things that are more important that I need to take care of. So I need to take care of that first before I can actually put my time into YouTube. And like I said, this is this is a hobby. This is something that I, I enjoy doing, and you know, I just I have to find a way to make time for it. Um, aside from that. The other thing that I've been dodging from talking about is net neutrality. Um, yeah, that got gutted. So I don't know how badly Verizon's going to screw me over with uh, my internet, because I my internet already sucks as it is. You know, I'm supposed to have high speed internet, and I already don't have that because if I had high speed internet like they said I should, I would be able to stream on Twitch. Yeah, no. My internet is... Like, people are surprised that I'm actually able to watch videos on YouTube. And I, I've i noticed lately, like in the past few days, I'll be watching stuff and it takes forever to buffer. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to like this. So, that being said, um, uploads might be a little bit slower than usual. And that might be a pain in the ass. Um, and what's even more scary is if I have to pay extra to do what I do, or even just be on the internet in general, if I had to pay extra for that shit, I just, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is um, I'm going to try my best to keep having content come out. Uh, I will actually start using my... Um, not subscription, what's it called? Uh, 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 scheduling my videos because YouTube gave me back scheduling and I wasn't sure if they're just gonna take that shit away from. Well, you know what? It's been about four, maybe five months now. I still have it. I guess I can, I can start using it and not have to be worried about, hey, they're gonna take that shit away from me again. So, in the off case scenario, I will probably most likely start um, having uh, videos scheduled to come out at a certain time mostly like around 2 p.m my time i'm east coast time zones suck uh yeah <laughs> this is saying i'm in the east coast of the united states that's my time zone y'all do the math because i'm not i'm i'm bumming it up right now so let me be a bum let me be a lazy bum and i do this um so there's that and um I think that's basically it. I'm going to, I'm going to try to con have videos still come up consistently. If anything on the horizon happens where I just I'm unable to, I will definitely make a video informing you guys because you guys should know. You're my subscribers. You guys take the time to watch the video, and I appreciate that so much. Thank you, uh, really, from the bottom of my heart. That means so much. I mean, for anyone to enjoy what I put out there and actually want to subscribe to my channel and enjoy what I have here because like I'm reiterating myself look it just that means so much to me I'm, I'm a small channel I'm a uh, I, I can be loud and, and and obnoxious and all that stuff but I'm also gonna be humble and weird look I appreciate everyone that enjoys my videos I mean from the comments you guys leave if, if it's positive or even negative feedback it's feedback on some kind of record that I can I, 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 use for future videos down the line when you guys suggest games that I might be into like I look at all the games you guys talk about and if I'm able to get it and if I find it interesting enough that I want to do videos on it then hell yeah I'll do it um it's just time <laughs> time is the biggest thing when it comes to this channel and with things in, that I have to deal with at home and at work and the future of net neutrality as it is uh yeah this is going to be a little stressful. I don't want to end it on a negative note, but I want to end it on a note that it's not going to stop me from trying. Even if I, I don't have the internet, I'm still going to make videos. So when I do have the internet, guess what? Bam, videos are going to be just slamming out there like nobody's business. But um, I do want to end the video with this. Look, it's a new year. We're at 2018. And I'm looking forward to seeing what crazy madness is going to happen. I'm looking forward to all of the games that I don't even notice coming out this year. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to see what, what's, what, what I have in store for the channel. And I hope you guys are looking forward to what I have coming up to the channel. Because I have a lot. And um, 
spoiler alert, we're going to be seeing more Kirby because I do a Kirby game every year, but this year might be a little bit more interesting than other years. So, with that being said, hello 2018. Treat us better than 2017. <laughs> Wow! If I, didn't, if I wasn't feeling better before, I'm feeling better now. That came out of nowhere. But as I was saying, as um that happened, again, professional. Um, yeah. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday season. Hope you guys have been safe. Hope you guys are, are playing video games like the rest of us, and and just enjoying time with friends and family. Welcome to all to the new year, 2018, as I've been reiterating myself. Let's see what happens next, shall we? In any case, as always, stay cool. I've been Chaotix, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Till then, later.